What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, AGB King Raw, and today I want to talk to y'all about Kanye West. And no, I know, I know, I know the man can't be canceled. I understand that everything he do is great. He's one of the best human beings to be on this earth. I hear it. I understand it. Whatever. This is my point here. Where's my clothes at? I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I love the Yeezy brand. I love the idea of Kanye West. I love the the way he he like tried to work with all the big corporations. Then he said, you know what? Uh, he went to Sway, had a full conversation. He told Sway, you ain't got the answers. And then Sway said, yes, I do. And then somehow it turns out that Sway did have the answers. I don't know if anybody brought that to anybody else's intention, but it seems like Sway did have the answers. So now we're in a situation as to where um, Kanye has gone uh, full biotic. He, he's he's gone full uh, uh, mecha mechanism, like full robotics. Kanye has gone full uh, Terminator. Kanye went full Terminator. That's how we're going to put it. Kanye went full Terminator. He went and opened up his own stuff, got his own uh, um, materials. He got his own designs. He got his own team with him, and he's doing everything by himself and not selling out of stores uh, and did everything online with the Shopify. I appreciate that. I love it. Everything is cool. But now it's like, it's like, are you putting the same attention towards getting those materials actually shipped out? You made $20 million in a day, which is cool. Not trying to knock you. But do you have the actual infrastructure to, to send out that $20 million in orders? Because a lot of people that was paying, the, um, something that I noticed about being a YouTuber is a lot of the YouTubers, they had the little um, the uh, socks, they had the sock runners, the shoes, the new things, they had those. Um, and it seemed like it came in order like pretty fast. I don't know if they, well, I know for a fact they ordered it when it did cost $200. So by the time the stuff did go to $20, I think it was probably like a month or, or like two weeks. So I don't know when they put that order in, but I know that they got that $180 back when the, when the shoes dropped to $20 because they wasn't worth $200. I'm not going to lie to you. They hard, but they wasn't worth $200. Like at the end of the day, you know what? You can't really blame Kanye. Because, first off, it was his first time ever doing this by himself, right? First off, it was his first time doing this by himself. Second off, yeah, the shoes were shit. The shoes were shit. But at the end of the day, the Fila and Nike and, and Adidas, they sell you shit shoes too. Like, they, sh they sell you uh, stuff that's... You can't compare... Okay, look. You can't compare... Um, a, a, a 10 year run to a two year run, right? You can't compare a, um, a, like a 50 year old company to a company that was, that has just gone independent. You can't compare that to a two day company. And I'm not calling Kanye a two day company. It's just a simple fact that you don't have the infrastructure to, 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 uh, it's like putting your money where your mouth is. You don't really have the infrastructure to, to, um, uh, to put all that material out. So it's like, as a, as a corporation, you're not a corporation. You're a human being. So it's like, you're a human being. So my question is, do you have the actual infrastructure to get those orders sent out in a timely manner? Because from what I've seen on the website, it said two weeks. Uh, but I ordered that on the 12th of February. Today is like February 27th. I still didn't get no update on when my order is going to be shipped. I actually just emailed y'all today. And what the email say? Uh, it was like an automated reply. It said, oh, due to a large, I said due to, <laughs> it said due to large, uh, large demand uh, that we're a little bit backed up. And I understand that. I totally understand. That. I get it. But still, I want to know, is y'all going to be like V-Loan and Bari with, with, the, uh, with the Pop Smoke collab? Like, is it going to be like that? Like, is it going to be, am I going to be waiting like two, three months or four months to get my hoodie or my shirt? This is why I didn't order like a bunch of different things because I had a feeling it was going to do this, but it was like, it was like, I didn't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I kind of, I wanted a lot of stuff on the list 
but it's just I didn't know how it was going to fit on me per se. So I ordered one shirt just to see how it would like come and how it would fit and whatever, whatever. But I ain't even get it yet. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to buy some more stuff like for $20 by the time my stuff actually get here and I try it on and know what size I am. Because people was wearing like size ones when it came to the shoes, but it was like flapping off because they'll be like a size they will be like a size 11 and a half or like a 12, but then it only goes up to 11 or, or a, a person will be like a size nine, but the shoe size for one is like nine to 11 or whatever. So it's like you wear a nine, but the shoe is flipping off your foot. You got to wear like 13 pairs of socks in the shoe. So it's like, I understand it. Well, what do I understand wrong? I understand the fact that this is your first time doing this. My question is, are you going to build a better infrastructure for your business now that you know that there's more demand for your supply? Are you going to implement that in your brand, in your in your in your strategy, your branding strategy and and figure out how to send out more or get more stuff sent out in a timely manner because i ain't gonna lie man i love kanye i love kanye i ain't gonna lie what? they'd be like they'd be like you say you love kanye but you ain't got nothing of kanye right and that's a lie that's a lie this is one of my favorite shoes i ain't gonna lie to you man this shoe came out like i don't even know how long ago this shoe came out like four years ago four years ago I ain't gonna lie. Like when you, when you, Kanye, when you made the um, the Red Octobers, like I don't think, I think, I think honestly, I think the demand went crazy because of everybody else in in like fake liking the shoe. You know how sneakerheads be. I think it it went that crazy because of that. But I think some people really did like the shoe. But I think it was just a super hyped up shoe. So you know for a fact you're not gonna be able to get to a hyped up shoe like that. You're not gonna get your chance to get them. But I'm just saying, I love Kanye. If I got a chance to get the Red Octobers when they did come out, I would have got those. But I, the ones I like more is the ones with the black and the pink with the um with the glow on the dark soul. I love those. But then the Red Octobers, it's like those two are my favorite shoes whatsoever next to the Jordan 4s. But those are my favorite shoes whatsoever. So if I could have got those, I would have got them. I would have bought them. I would have worn them every day. I'd still be wearing them every day. I love that shoe. But it's like... It's like signing to a record label, right? As an independent artist, you don't really have the infrastructure to 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 like you could be making the best music as a as an independent artist, but having the infrastructure to push your music out in front of enough people to support your brand until you're getting paid shows and all of that, it's not as easy as it looks. So that's what I'm starting to learn from Kanye's venture with his independent brand. It's sometimes you do need that bigger machine just to get everything right, right? Because sometimes you're bigger than you think you are. So sometimes you need that machine to put you in front of people's faces so you can get the respect you deserve. But it's like, I learn a lot from Kanye. I appreciate Kanye West. And and paying attention to how you move and what you're doing with your brand and how you know that people don't respect people, but they respect boobs. Genius. I can't fault you at all. I love you, Kanye. I just want to know where my clothes at. <laughs> this is just a vlog. I just wanted to talk about it because I got the email today and I just thought about it because it's been like two weeks with more than two weeks since I put the order in. So. I want to know where my clothes is at for one. For two, I want to I want I want to pray to God that you build the infrastructure big enough to support who you are cuz you're bigger than you think you are. Like pause, that was weird. But it's like you're you take up more mass in this earth than you think you do. And don't let these white people or or don't let these don't let none of these people, it's not even, it's not specifically white people because it goes back to the conversation of, of, of having more 
uh, demand and supply. It's like it's like being a black person in America. Sometimes you feel like you really need that machine. Like like we as black black people, like a lot of times we think we need a job to take us to the next level, or we need a um shoes, or we need um clothes. And it's like a lot of the times we don't need none of that. Like you saying Bolt, I ain't see that boy in no Nikes before I seen him running fast. Like it's just you are who you are. And as black people, I don't think we acknowledge that. Well, I don't think we take heed to the fact that we are super important and we're bigger than we think we are. Like we take up more mass than we think we do. But it's like it just goes back to slavery and stuff like that. And it, and it's like, well, you can know who you are. You can know what you're worth. But at the same time, a lot of the times you can't. You don't have the 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 money or you don't have the whatever it takes to get you to that next level. So it's like you got to find six different ways to skin a cat. So it's like I appreciate Kanye. I'm learning a lot from Kanye. Um, I I actually learned a lot from Russ too. I don't know why I'm putting his name in this, but uh, I think Kanye could lot, learn a lot from Russ. I think I think if them two had a conversation, that would be a crazy conversation. But I just want you to build more of the infrastructure for your brand because you're an amazing person, Kanye. And I think I think that uh, once you have more of the um, the more of your own team. Uh, supporting you like four legs to a table once you got the four legs holding you up you can keep being kanye it's just your team has to be more strategic on how to um like get the order sent out uh put your face in front of people on who's stream for you to be on uh all of this stuff like you can keep being kanye but you i think you need more people around you to figure out all the paperwork but as black people you're already super cool man you're already super cool just let me know send me another email if you do see this send me another email let me know when you're gonna send my clothes and if you got something else for me let me know send that too you already got my address you already know who it is it's agv king raw if you don't know who it is hit the uh official king raw uh gmail and i'll tell you the tracking number and all of that um but yeah man this is a easy supply uh vlog i just want to talk about kanye for a second um follow me at hv king raw everywhere um like comment subscribe all that stuff i appreciate y'all for watching uh thank you have a great day i appreciate you for real i appreciate you for real have a good day yeah that's it yeah <laughs>